So, having looked at the first class of policies, which were um, policies that affect the wage paid by firms, either directly, such as minimum wage policy, or through um, taxes and subsidies, for instance, by changing um, the payroll tax. Now we're going to look at another class of policies together where the government doesn't affect employment by changing the wage paid by private firms, but the government affects employment just by hiring workers in the public sector. So we're going to look at public employment as a policy. Um, we're going to look at the effect qualitatively of public employment, what it does on private employment, total employment, tightness, unemployment. We're going to look at some quantitative properties and in particular um, we're going to look at the um, government multipliers, which is a typical statistic that's reported for this type of policy. So that the multiplier gives us the effect on employment of hiring one worker in the public sector. And we'll actually look at how it moves over the business cycle. There'll be some interesting properties there. And um, then we'll discuss a little bit optimal public employment. So if you, have a, if you have a benevolent social planner who wants to maximize social welfare, what should public employment do? And in certain situations, it's pretty easy actually to figure out what, what you should do um, based on the analysis we've done of efficient labor market tightness, efficient unemployment. In other situations, it'll be a bit more complicated. Um, and then I'll, I'll just point to some research articles that do that analysis, even though it's a bit too complicated for um, for this course. So, um, before we start, a couple of um, quick discussion of the importance of public employment on um, the US labor market. So, public employment actually is not something that uh, covered very frequently when you take like micro labor classes um, or if you take just micro classes, although public employment is actually a very important part of the uh, US labor market and in fact of labor markets in developed economies in general. Uh, and furthermore, it's a policy that's um, used very frequently to tame uh, business cycles. So how important is public employment? So a couple of statistics uh, are quite telling. So first of all, um, if you just look at the number of people who are in the public sector, who are employed by the government, um, that's 17% of uh, total employment. So that's about one-fifth of workers who are employed are employed by the government. So that's quite large. Uh, so the number of workers in the public sector is about so that's for the US. Uh, um, and that, you know, if you look at the past 50 years or so, uh, that's 17% of uh, to the total number of workers. Okay, so that's quite a large number. Um, so the public sector represents 17% of the entire labor market. Um, so that's, that's quite big. And then furthermore, even just if you look at um, the spending of the US government, so here when I say government, I mean not only the federal government, but also state governments and local governments. Um, so the entire government apparatus. Um, so spending on public employment, on public workers. Um, it's actually the majority of the spending of the government. So it's actually 63% uh, of, of total government spending. So it means that um, the government spends about two thirds of, uh, you know, about two thirds of what the government spend is on public workers, on public employment. So public employment represents the majority of what the US government spends on and it represents a sizable chunk of, um, you know, the labor market as well. 
So these are, uh, these are you know, useful statistics to have in mind. Another thing that's quite uh, that, that's important to realize, especially in the context of the discussion of business cycle policies, of policies that can tackle business cycle fluctuations, policies that can reduce unemployment in bad times. Of course, uh, what's key is that over the years, stimulus packages designed to fight recession, they often involve increases in uh, public employment. And um, one, uh, of course, one striking example, a very well-known example of that, where public employment was increased uh, drastically to fight unemployment, is uh, the New Deal that was implemented um, during the Great Depression. Uh, during the New Deal, of course, uh, President Roosevelt really employed a lot of workers uh, that were without a job to work for the government to try to fight unemployment. And, you know, these guys were used to build uh, massive infrastructure projects. Uh, so, you know, very big. Uh, there was a lot of uh, improvements in infrastructures. Dams were built, roads were built during the Great Depression using these workers. Um, so, you know, it's a policy that, uh, that's always available when you try to fight uh, unemployment. So when we think of a business cycle, that's a natural policy to, uh, to think about.